Hello and welcome back to Top Bill Carpentry. Carl here. In this video, I am going to show you, and I'm excited about this one, our new panel saw at Altendorf F45. Now this saw has changed the game for us. It is incredible. So top build, we are bespoke furniture manufacturers. So everything we use and everything we do, we are looking for accuracy. That's our main part of our game. Um, so we have upgraded from an SCM. The so SCM this is our old panel saw. So this is an SCM, SI350. Had this about eight years. It's served us very well but it's time for an upgrade, going for all the extra features. So we've done a Partex, this is going in. Yeah, but overall this has been a good saw. Has been accurate, but it doesn't have none of the features on that the new one is coming. But I thought while we're disconnecting it, I thought we'd show you the saw that we are taking out. Also a 3.2 meter bed. To make way for the new panel saw. That's coming in tomorrow, being delivered. CM we had for about eight or nine years, did us well, and I didn't really know we needed to change it until we did. Um, so obviously I've upgraded the SEM and we've got the Altendorf F45, the Pro Drive version. So I'm gonna give you a run through now on all the different parts on this and why it's such an amazing saw. So it comes, it has a 3.2 meter sliding bed the bed itself slides so well it just glides so cutting anything on this is just a dream even in that respect it, so it has on and off switches at both at the very end plus on the screen up the top on the control panel so obviously if you've got a long sheet and you're down at the back or there's something covering you here and you couldn't lean over to reach it you can turn it on and off from down there, which is brilliant and very handy. So the F45 comes with a 1300 mil motorized rip fence. So with this from the control panel, every measurement that you need or you want will be up on here. So for instance, if I wanted to push that over to 600 millimeters now, I will type in 600 millimeters across there, press start and it will move to smack on 600 millimeters. So before with our old one, I was having to walk around, reset, and you know, you're resetting it by hand manually. You might be the odd half a mil off here, a mil off. So the accuracy of this has completely leveled up to what we're doing and the speed, because obviously just going around there and changing, when you're doing multiple cuts, it's incredible. This also comes with a Digit L cross cut fence, which again, is so accurate so it has three points on there along there so you can get right the way across and it is so accurate this so it's also digital so obviously if I wanted to come across it can go across to there and the cross cut on that will be very accurate it also has micro adjustment there so you're talking points of a millimeter um, and that is like super accurate we have tested this as well like to the accuracy on some of our like understair storage and stuff that we're making and it's found to be incredible so yeah to operate the saw and turn it on and off you've got this control panel which does move around and on the control panel up here so if you want to turn on the main blade you'll turn that on the scoring blade scoring blade actually has an LED light on, uh, like a safety light, which will show you when it is up um, for the safety reasons. And it also has two axes on, the scorer. So that also has come in brilliant for us. Uh, our old SEM did have a scorer, but this is just another level. Now up on the control panel, obviously if you wanted to set any angles, uh, which we do a lot of with different things that we do, you know, so say if you wanted to change that angle to 40 degrees, the control panel will actually work out from the thickness of the blade, like our blade in there currently is a 3.2 mil blade. So the control panel itself will actually offset there, it'll plus 0.3 mil to allow for that angle. So when I want a 600 mil cut from the end of the angle to the straight part, it will give me 600 mil. 
and it'll take that into account because the blade being on an angle, it accounts all that in. So very accurate and it does the hard thinking for you. Now this version, as standard, comes with two guards. We do a lot of angled work, so the one that's on there currently and that we tend to keep on there is, uh, you know, for the wider one, so the blade can tilt over. Obviously this one is for straight cutting, so obviously when you're down lower, you are collecting more dust within, closer to the blade, but we haven't found that a problem, so we are tending to leave that one on. Um, as most of our stuff, we're changing from angles to straights, angles to straights, so we tend to just keep that one on our machine. Up on the top, you've got your push stick, which is in a nice position here, so when you come to the end and, you know, it's right up there, just where you need it. Uh, the arm on this also has locking on it, so you can move that out of the way if you did want to just do some freehand cutting with no dust collection. So the menu on the control panel, it is very simple to use. At the start, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a bit confusing, but I'll be honest, anyone after about 15, 20 minutes can work it out and you, it becomes kind of like the norm, like most tools that you start to use. But with this, it is very simple. So up the top here, you've got the width. So that basically is setting the rip fence to which depth you want it to, to shoot out to. Like I just showed you then, 600 mil. You've got the blade height. So that's currently on our set at 50 mil high. You've got the angle. So that's currently at 40 degrees. And you've got the blade thickness, which is important that you do if you change your blade, obviously change that because that will offset when you're doing your angles and it will give you a complete and utter accuracy to everything that you're cutting basically. So that is an important. Now in the menu, you do have other options, i.e. like grooving. So if you've got lighting grooves or different uh, grooves that you want to chop out in certain things, you can go onto here and you can set all your different grooves across now there is also functions on here that we haven't used just yet uh, for like preset programs. So we haven't got around to that because the stuff we're kind of doing daily, we haven't needed to use that just yet because most days we're cutting different things and different things. But I suppose when it comes to lighting grooves and stuff like that, that would be very handy to preset. Um, now the cross cut fence on this also is known as a parallelogram fence, so it will swing across on an angle basically so you can set that to any angle and inside of this it does actually offset the length of what you're cutting again with this so with this we're using the cross cut itself on a daily basis and it's just so accurate comes with a spare battery as well because that is battery powered um, we haven't even needed to change it yet either but we have got one on charge for over there so in the back of there there's a spare battery that comes with it and you just swap them over to fast charge anyway but like i say i can imagine that's going to last a long time um, but i like the fact that they've sent an actual second battery so that you're never out of action and you come back in what we do every morning uh, with the saw and we was advised by r and j machinery is we just re-sync this basically, because at the start there, we want it to start off at 150.2. So what we do every morning is we re-sync that by holding the top two buttons. That then will reset us back to where we need to be so we know every morning we are accurate. Now to access the blades on this, you're basically gonna push it all the way across. You'll come up to a sticker, which is just there. So if you go all the way to the end and then you want to come back a little bit towards the sticker, press the little button in and then keep pushing it and it'll allow you past. And from here, you've got all the tools in here that you'll need to change the blade, change the scoring blade. The motor on this, on the main blade is 7.5 horsepower and it has a separate scoring unit motor on that as well. Now with this, I just want to show you how accurate this is and how accurate the motorised rip fence is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pound coin up against the fence, I'm going to move it, and I'm going to move it back to that same position and uh, show you how it works. So I'll bring the motorised fence over to 200 millimetres, which will bring it closer to me. I'm going to put the pound coin up against the fence, so it's just stood up. So it's tight up against there now. I'm going to move the saw away over to 600. And now I'm going to bring it back to 200 and show you how accurate 
that will stay up against the coin. And that is the accuracy of it. It is unbelievable. Now we bought this machine from R&J Machinery. Um, do go over to Instagram, check them out. They are brilliant and I'm gonna give it to them. Brilliant to deal with. I think, obviously I discussed this with them and from like discussing it with them to having it in my workshop and then having engineers down to commission it was probably within one to two days from when I actually spoke to them and got it sorted. Um, these machines, the ProDrive version here that I've got, they are around 33,000 plus the AT price wise um, and worth every penny to be honest if you're doing stuff all day, every day. Now we did trade in our SEM and obviously got things sorted in that respect. But over at RJ Machinery, they are brilliant. Now we dealt with Jez over there, absolutely brilliant to deal with. Um, the information that they give me on this, because obviously there's a couple of different versions of this. We've gone for the Pro Drive. The information and how helpful they are, and their engineers, how actually good they are, and initially giving us a rundown, showing us all the different things on the service inside of this. Just can't fault them, absolutely brilliant. So obviously they have got other machines um, that we will be looking at in the future, basically, uh, which I've spoken to them about, but. Yeah, if you are looking for this machine, do head over, give R&J Machinery a call, and um, yeah, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, so overall, this machine for us is an absolute game changer. How it's been made and how well it's been made, uh, it surprised me, it shocked me. It's such a well-made machine, and just so accurate and so brilliant. From what we've come from, and what we've used, and what we've trialed out, just brilliant, faultless, and it's changed our game completely. Now, if you do want to see any of our work, do head over to Instagram, at Topville Carpentry. Also do check out our other YouTube videos because we've got a lot of other machinery, tools, how we do things, and we've also got a lot coming up in the future. So do give us a subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to look into these machines, as I said earlier, go check out r &J Machinery. So thanks for watching. See you soon.